Okay, so we've got this competition that's coming up, the Stooling Ladles Live Iron Chef Soup Cook-Off for the fifth annual, right? Is that that's fifth? right, the fifth annual Great Winter Soup Cook-Off. And I heard a rumor that you were going to be participating, Matt. Is that right? Or, or am I just making it up? Now he has to do it. <laughs> no. Nope. Bristol Gardens and Grill will be represented. Um, actually, Matthew, little Matty, is going to be my sous chef. So it's going to be a father-son team going in to try to go up against the big boys. <laughs> and uh, I might not bet on us, but I certainly wouldn't bet against us. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> we have, we have um, yeah, this is a new related event that we um, are just now beginning um, and it's we're real excited about it. We have um, Elizabeth Brown from Greenville, South Carolina, who's going to be in charge of this event. And we've pulled together six uh, area chefs and culinary experts that are going to do a live competition at 10 a.m. before the soup cook-off opens at 11. So this will be a totally separate tickets that will be sold for this. Um, you buy a package. It's $18. Uh, that allows you into the soup cook-off, which is a – Ten dollar value, and then you um, have your. The, it also allows you with the wristband into the um, the live um, competition. So we're excited about this. We have um, six great chefs, um, and they're all very innovative. And I think you'll be talking to some more of them this month. And and it's it's going to be so much fun. They'll have forty five minutes to make their soup. Okay, so. Do you already have some ideas? Now, we don't know what the secret ingredient is, but in this creative brain of yours, are you going ahead and and thinking of some concepts, perhaps? You don't have to share them, of course, we don't want, but are you thinking ahead? Like, have you... Absolutely not. Absolutely. We have no idea what Jennifer's going to be throwing at us. She's You've t- worked with her before. I can I, tell I that. know how she works. I'm not going to anticipate. I'm going to let it just happen. 45 minutes is plenty of time for us to stumble and fall without being creative. <laughs> we are doing a fully natural tomato bisque representing the Bristol Gardens and Grill in the soup cook-off. We know what we're doing there. It's all natural tomatoes that we pulled out of our garden this year. Everything that's in it, pretty much everything that's in it, has come off our own property Maddie's going to make that for us with me. That's totally amazing and exciting. What we do when she pulls out the secret ingredients are probably going to be dictated by the secret ingredients. So I can't really tell you if we're doing chowder, bisque, or broth at this point. Yeah, I have a few things in your back pocket. I don't know. I'm just trying to help here, Matt. Let's just see if we, she can, we can get a little bit more information. I, I don't know. It's probably going to be crazy fun. I can imagine it's going to be... I mean, we've really not seen anything like that in our area. No, and, and you're going to be there, so that'll be fun. You're going to be there to uh, kind of spur us on, I hope. And, yes. uh, and uh, we, yeah, we're anticipating a lot of fun. We'll have a pantry that, that we will supply different foods like you see on television. They can go choose from if they need milk, pick up a lemon, onion, celery. You know, we'll have all kinds of things in the pantry. And then um, we will present them with stock. They can choose vegetable or chicken stock. And then we'll have um, a secret ingredient. And uh, they can uh, use all the things we have in the pantry to create something in 45 minutes. Have three great judges. And um, so it's going to be a fun day. If people have not attended the Great Winter Soup Cook-Off before, just set kind of the mood for us so that people will know what to expect. It is so much fun. You get stuffed full of soup. You do. You do. Um, it's a great event. Uh, it's to um, um, help us with our wonderful programs and, and events that we have for both adults and children at the Higher Ed Center. Um, I'm sure most people do know what the Higher Ed Center is. We offer lots of things, lots of uh, youth programs, lots of um, adult programs that are um, not for credit, as well as you know having our, our schools that we represent that do offer four credit courses. But this is, um, it's yeah, it's great. Last year we had over 45 different soups, and we have two categories. We have professional and amateur. So if you're a restaurant or caterer, you go in the professional. And if you are a person who likes wants to bring great-grandma Rosie's um, um, homemade chicken noodle soup, you know, and it's awesome and you love it, um, we encourage, you know, people, we encourage groups. Um, we're hoping to have the Boys and Girls Club this year uh, come with ASD, perhaps, and, and do a soup and youth groups and Boy Scouts. And, you know, we want the youth involved because, quite honestly, from you can see from Matt's son um, and, and your daughter. Your daughter wants one son. Um, what she wants. She won the amateurs. 
uh, the amateur. She did amateur. with the Jamaican pork soup or something yes. like that. It was yeah. awesome. So we love to see these younger people get involved in making soups because um, it is. Um, I mean, they they compete. I mean, they're there to compete. So last year we had over 500 people in attendance. So. We're anticipating that again this year, and uh, it's a great time to come out of the cold weather in February and just, you know, come and enjoy um, a cook-off cafe where we have vendors that have wine. You can sit down and have a sandwich. We have bakeries. We have all kinds of food there. We have free cooking classes. We have two wonderful classes. One, for instance, this year will be Alan Dodson, who's a chef uh, at the Bristol Country Club, is going to be teaching um, super beef stew, the very best beef stew, and how to make it easily. Um, so lots of other other things going on as well. Well worth your money. You get to well eat and money. you get the fellowship with the different restaurants and people mm-hmm. in the community. and then and Wonderful door prizes. All the restaurants give a door prize. So you when you come in, you can register for a door prize. You have a chance of winning that. And, of course, we have the people's choice. You get to vote for the people's choice, and, and they get a great big um, prize as well. It's one of the really largest events that we do in the community that bring people together, whether you're a cook or not or you're a professional chef or you just enjoy eating food and that concept of enjoying eating and uh, making it a social event is something that we all enjoy doing. So this is it is. And then we have people from as far away. We've had someone from Charlottesville that came down. We've had Asheville, Knoxville. You know, Boone, they, they drive over for it. We've had people driving down 81 and heard it a live remote on the radio and pulled off the interstate. So they all got to come in and have the suit. We need to take a quick commercial break. Can you all stay with us for just a few minutes? Absolutely. Okay, we'll be back. This is your host, Christy Slaughter, on Super Talk Saturday mornings, WFHG 92.9. Welcome back. This is your host, Christy Slaughter, on Super Talk Saturday mornings, WFHG 92.9. I'm joined with my special guest, Jennifer Ferreira, from the Southwest Virginia Higher Education Center, and Matt Shai. He is the owner of Bristol Gardens and Grill, a new business that's just starting here in our community. We're going to talk some more about that, but we have a caller on the line. Good morning, Chef Allen. Good morning. You guys start talking about me. i got to call in, you know. Chef Allen, what's your last name? Can you say Dodson. that? On the, okay, we've had you. I've had you on the show before. You have. Do you absolutely. remember? Absolutely. <laughs> I do. So Jennifer, how was could I forget that? Oh, good, good. <laughs> yes, go ahead, line. That's fine. I will accept that. So Jennifer, yes, she was talking about you, and then Rick said that you were calling in, and Jennifer said she, maybe he heard his name or his ears were burning, perhaps. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was just listening to the show this morning, and then then you said Jennifer was there, and then next thing I know, she's talking about me. But that's a that's a good thing, I guess. So, um, I didn't know about that competition. Can I get in on that, Jennifer? Well, actually, no. We've already got six who have uh, uh, pledged their uh, ladles. <laughs> So they, they, they've already the press release has already been sent, <laughs> Chef Allen. But you are going to put a soup in, right? Oh, I am. I'm going to be there with soup uh, representing the Country Club of Bristol. And uh, you know, last year I won the uh, seafood division, and this year I'm shooting to win the overall. So that's my goal. Well, I'm not competing, so you have a good chance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I've never competed. No, no hate letters. I've never competed. But, your husband all, has. but my husband has and my yeah. daughter, and they've both done really well. But I, but I never help them with their soup, especially with my daughter like remember i mean i didn't even uh, want to hardly taste it i was like i don't even want mm, you know. uh, yeah. it was it was intense. it was, <laughs> it was. oh it was a blast it's, it's an if people that don't come out for this are going to miss out on a lot of fun because there's some great soups and some great chefs and some great amateur chefs and uh it's just it's fantastic and i i can't wait i'm really excited about being there and uh i'm going to be uh at a show this weekend uh uh tomorrow i'll be at the tri-cities bridal show in johnson city at the millennium center and i'll be doing some sampling of some things we do at the club and if someone wants to come out and say hi that'd be great okay well thank you so much chef allen it sounds like fun all righty i'll see Thanks you for taking my call i'll see you there at the cook-off i guess and the slaughters aren't participating this year i don't think so but when i'm going to be there it's going to be a lot of fun maybe rick you could put in a soup how about that i don't know how to make soups <laughs> i'll have to come oh, in speaking. and observe yeah hey rick yes sir uh, rick are you going to be uh, uh you going to be selling produce uh, as well as growing it for your own use matt 
Matt, or Matt, I'm sorry. You're asking me. I'm sorry. I thought you said Rick. Uh, yes, the, it's going to end up having a very uh, small farmer's market kind of feel at the front of it. When you come by, you'll see it's uh, really rustic, really quaint looking. We're going to have some... Uh, definitely. Uh, I need to come see you because I'd like to get in on some of that for the club. Thanks. Have a great day. Talk to you all soon. Okay. Thanks, Chef Allen. To uh, t- at the end of the month. Jennifer, if you don't mind, give us the contact information again for okay. the cook-off, what we can expect. I know Matt's going to be there all, all day, pretty much, with mm-hmm. their entry of the soup. So you mm-hmm. can go by and check him out. He can give you more information. And uh, after you give that information, Jennifer, Matt, just I know you've got a new Facebook page and stuff. We'll talk about that, too. Well, this, this is February 10th is the big day, and the Dueling Ladles event is at um, 10 o'clock. And be through by 11. The doors open to the cook-off at 11. It goes on till 3 o'clock. Um, uh, ju- judges are sequestered back in the back room, blind tastings, don't know whose soup they're eating. So it's a lot of fun. Then we have awards around um, uh, about a quarter of 3. We start our awards. So it's a great day, way to come in, eat lunch, sit down in the cafe and eat lunch. So um, it's uh, you can go online to www.swcenter.edu slash cooking. And you can register to buy for an event as a competitor. You can also register for tickets or the package for the dueling ladle uh, tickets as well. So, um, you know, we hope everybody will come out and support. And please, you know, feel free to enter a soup. We, the more the merrier. And it's, it's great fun for a great cause. And there were several gluten-free soups last year. If we have any listeners who are gluten-free, one of the things I love is that you have the chef's list all the ingredients so when you go up to the table you know what's going to be in the soup yes you have to have to put your ingredients you don't have to put your recipe but you have to put your ingredients on the table the ingredients also go with your soup back to the judges so that they know exactly what's in the soup when they're tasting it too so yeah it's 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 well organized and um uh lots of people volunteer to help us we have a lot of young people who are runners for the soup bringing it to the judges so it's it's a fun day and people will decorate their booths sometimes yes we have we have a showmanship award so if you want to uh, some people do nothing and some people do but if you have a business this is a great time for you to market it i mean this is also a great time for you to network with the culinary community in our area and showcase your restaurant and um, you can decorate it any way you want to be able to see anything else you'd like to share with us matt before we head well i would encourage anybody who loves to watch the food network and see all the different chops and all the different iron chefs and all the top chefs and all that to come out and see what jennifer's put together for this day if you don't know any chefs and you don't know any culinarians we're all extremely competitive but more importantly than that we're very into our customers and the community so this is a great opportunity for us to not only let our competitive juices flow a little bit, but also actually say thanks and give hugs to all the people that are going to come out to acknowledge our skills, acknowledge what we do. And they really show appreciation for what you do. Even Maddie's 13 year old amateur offering last year, he got more hugs than I got working at Mellow Mushroom the entire year. And that's, that's what this competition is all about. She said 500 came last year. I guarantee it's six this year. It just grows. It's enthusiastic. It's fun. And quite frankly, it's very tasty. Every year I've been in it, I've made sure I tasted everything that any chef offered. And there's no bad soup. No, yeah. there's no bad soup. There's no bad and, soup. And it's last good. Last year, we, the judges said, these are 45 fabulous soups. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is not a loser in this bunch. And there isn't. You know, there there isn't. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you all February 10th. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Have a safe trip out. Hopefully it's all unthawed. I think we were at 25 degrees.